what's good guys I'm back with another video I'm gonna be putting a sticker on my truck today it's an intro sticker which is the brand of my wheels um, I was gonna show you guys the way I put my stickers on I put on a lot of stickers like on my last car and a few on my truck so I'm gonna show you guys the way that I do it to like center it and everything like that alright guys so this is who I got the sticker from that's his Instagram street riders 209 he ships as well so if you guys need any stickers or anything like that feel free to hit him up all I did was I hit him up and I sent him a picture of what I wanted and then he made me the sticker so this is a sticker and then I'll show you guys how I put it on right now all right so the first thing I like to do is I measure from the edge of the sticker to the other edge and then whatever that is I'll mark the sticker right wherever the half is. So I'm going to go ahead and measure right now, and then I'll divide whatever it measures by two, and then I'll mark it right at half. Alright, so I measured 13 inches, so I went ahead and just put a dot right in the middle at 6.5. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a straight line all the way across from top to bottom with the ruler. And that's just to know exactly where the center is that way it's not off to the left or off to the right again you guys don't have to do this but I don't really want my stickers to be like crooked or whatever I like them to be centered so that's why I do this all right so there's the line down the middle um, usually I'll like measure to make sure that these bottom edges are straight but I looked at the back and the way it's cut it has lines on it and it was cut right on the line so so that's good I won't have to mess with that alright so there's a line and it doesn't matter if you write or if you write on it with the marker or whatever because this top sheet's gonna come off anyways alright so I'm gonna be putting the sticker in the back window in the middle I'm going to put it towards the bottom right in the center, like that. So I'm going to grab some stuff, clean the window, and then we'll go ahead and put it on there. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and clean the window right now. Some glass cleaner. You can use anything. You can use Windex, glass cleaner, whatever you want. I'm just going to spray it down. More towards the middle where I'm going to put the sticker on. And I'm just going to wipe it down with some towels. Alright guys, so I went ahead and measured the window from this corner right here of the window all the way to the other side. And this is what I measured right here, 63.75 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and divide that by 2. And then that's what you get. That's exactly where half should be, 31.87 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and use an erasable marker and just make a line down the middle where ex exactly where the middle is all right so I went ahead and drew a line right in the middle I measured everything out and that's where the middle is um, I use a ruler and then the dry erase marker then what you're gonna do next is you're gonna line up the line that's on the sticker with the line that you just drew and that's how you're gonna know where when it's centered where to put it right, so it seems Make sure you check both the top and the bottom. And then when you do that too, just make sure that the bottom is straight with like the window. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a piece of electrical tape from the top of the window all the way down and that's gonna hold the sticker in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I put the tape on there but it was still a little bit crooked. So you can like take off the bottom piece and then you can mess with it a little bit, either up or down. So I took off the bottom and then I'm gonna go ahead and center it right now. And not center it, but correct the angle so it's straight with the, that's parallel to the window. All right guys, so there it is. It's right in the middle. Um, we're actually gonna go ahead and put it on now. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over the sticker 
with the card to make sure that it sticks once we peel it up. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and peel it now. Make sure you lift it slowly and that it's all coming off. Alright, so I'm going to hold it here and then I'm going to grab some scissors and I'm going to cut this, I'm going to cut it in half, the, the back sheet. It doesn't have to be exactly half, but just go ahead and cut it all the way down. Alright, so now we're just going to go ahead and put the sticker on using a card. Make sure that this is all the way down so it's at the right angle. So we're just going to go ahead and start from the right and work our way to the left. Alright, so that should be good for now. Uh, now you can go ahead and actually take off your tape. So again, I'm going to go ahead over the rest of the sticker to make sure that it sticks to the sheet. And now what we're going to do is pull it this way and then you can peel off the rest of your, uh, the rest of the white sheet. Okay, so now you can actually see where you mark, uh, where you mark the window with the marker. So now you can actually go ahead and take that off. Wipe it off. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and put the rest of it on. Right, so again, just go ahead and pull the opposite way now. Make sure you try to get any and all the air bubbles out so it doesn't look bad and try to pull the sticker from the middle don't try to pull it from the top or from the bottom because then that's gonna make the sticker crooked Okay, so there it is. Um, just try to get any, if you have any air bubbles left, try to get them out with your finger. You can try to use the card, but just push them outward if you do have any left. Um, even though most of them will go away with like the sun when the sun hits it, but you want to have the least possible either way. Alright, looks good now. Um, just gonna go ahead and peel it. Make sure you pull it like at an angle so it doesn't lift the sticker up. There's a sticker all finished up right in the middle. It's straight. Looks good. Um, Alright, so that's going to be it, guys. And again, I mean, you guys don't have to do it that way. That's just the way that I've always put my stickers on to make sure that they're perfectly straight and not sitting at an angle or off to one side, off to the other, because that just doesn't look good. Um, Alright, guys, so that's going to be it for this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. Ni rico ni pobre, pero tengo lo que quiero y mis gustos siempre me los doy. Mucho le agradezco al viejo por sus consejos y por todo lo que me inculcó y bien tras ahí 